Hi guys, it's Alexis, a level two occupational therapy student. Um, this week I'm talking all about scissor skills and cutting skills, um, like the appropriate grasp um, when holding the scissors. So always when kids starting out, you want your thumb to be up. So in this, in the first top hole, the smaller hole, and then the index and the middle finger down below. Um, so for this activity, it's a very simple, it's very minimal amount of resources. All you need is marker, pair of scissors, and a piece of paper. So all we're going to be doing is basically I'm going to be drawing different um, patterns on the um, paper, and then you have the kiddo cut it out. So I just recently did this with one of my kiddos, but I um, actually got a worksheet off of the internet, which you can do. There's plenty of them, but if you are not, um, you don't have the capabilities to print, you can always create your own. But basically it was just, you had to cut out the different pattern lines and you're, there was a fish at the end and you were basically just cutting it out because you were feeding the fish. So you're more than welcome to take that idea, draw some fish on here which we can do and then draw different patterns as well and then you just have them cut cut it out it's going to work on visual motor as well because you're going to have to be able to like know where they're cutting um, and it's also going to be working on um, age appropriate skills so i'm going to move the camera down hopefully you can see it and it's not too let's see Oops, I don't want it to be too. Alright, so basically, I'm going to draw a couple of fish on here. Don't make fun of my artwork. We'll draw three fish on here. And so then, all you're going to do, so I drew three fish on here. And all you're going to do is basically just um, draw different patterns. So for this one, we're just going to do a straight line, as straight as it possibly can be. So I just drew a straight line on that. This one will do a curved line, like so. And then the other one will do a zigzag pattern. So all you're going to have them do is basically feed the fish. So how you feed the fish, you start at the dot and you basically cut along the lines like so. So let's start with the straight line one. So all you're going to be doing is following that line. And if you want it to be completely straight, you could get a ruler. So they basically just fed the fish like so. I feel like my camera is having difficulties today. So for this one, you're going to start out straight and then you're going to curve it. And you're just going to feed the fish and follow the line. It's really great for visual motor skills as well. I'm trying to get it closer so that you guys can see it. And then the last one, you're just going to follow the zigzag pattern. And this is also going to help with in hand manipulation because you're going to have to turn the paper some. So you fed all the fish. I'm going to move the camera back up. Maybe it'll focus a little better. There we go. So you're just going to feed all the fish. So you basically just follow the pattern up. And it's great for in hand manipulation. It's good for visual motor. It's good for practicing cutting skills as well. Super simple, easy activity to do. So that is it for that video. Like I said, all you need is a piece of paper, a marker, scissors. You can put any type of animal up here. If your kiddo's favorite animal is a duck, a bird, a lion, whatever. You can just put an animal. You can put stickers. You can put the name, whatever you want to do. And then you just make different patterns and then you just cut it out. So that is it for that video. So I guess I hope you guys enjoyed that activity. Thanks.